ASEAN's five-point consensus, the main framework for Myanmar to resolve its crisis, has failed to make a significant progress to date. But the recent challenges that Myanmar's military government has been facing uh, suggest it's warming to international pressure to take action. Young Waikit looks at how these developments and other resolution efforts can complement the five-point consensus that was agreed three years ago. To some, this may be seen as progress. The delivery of aid to Myanmar. In March this year, Thailand sent its first batch of relief items to Myanmar. Aid delivery is one of the five agreed points between Myanmar Army Chief Min Aung Hlai and nine ASEAN leaders on April 2021. The agreed peace plan involves an immediate end to violence, to start talks among all parties concerned, a special envoy to facilitate talks, sending aid to Myanmar, and to allow the special envoy to visit Myanmar and meet all parties concerned. The five-point consensus has since become the main framework for ASEAN and Myanmar to resolve this crisis. Earlier this year, the newly appointed special envoy Alun Kiao Kitikun visited Myanmar. Now, while he was there, he did not get to meet State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi or President Win Min. But the special envoy met Myanmar Army Chief Min Aung as well as some representatives of ethnic armed groups and political parties. But can that latest development, the envoy visit, coupled with the sending of humanitarian aid to Myanmar, be seen as progress to the five-point consensus? I would say it's, it's a mixed result. Um, and we cannot really say that that the significant, you know, or positive result has been achieved. It's it's not a checklist, but um, it's it's one of those uh, broad frameworks that does require uh, more, I think, specific. Uh, articulation, a more specific uh, indication of what needs to be done. The main hurdle to the five-point consensus is the Myanmar Army, who calls itself the State Administration Council and sees itself as Myanmar's government. The State Administration Council uh, very quickly turned around and, and just qualified it, very, you know, placing conditions uh, of uh, compliance on uh, settling uh, the internal uh, situation in Myanmar first, which was not something that uh, was, uh, you know, threshed out with the ASEAN heads of state and government. While the Myanmar army is indeed responsible for resolving its own crisis, Dr Lina points out that ASEAN too has to make it a group effort to get the military to adhere to the bloc's five-point consensus. The problem is really with ASEAN. Because they deal separately with this, you know, with this junta. And that creates the, the, the larger division within ASEAN. That's why the five-point consensus, which is the main reference for ASEAN, is not working. The Myanmar army is currently facing unprecedented levels of pressure. It has lost a number of territories and troops to attacks by a group of armed ethnic groups since last October. And there are signs that things are starting to change. For one, the army recently said it's tried to alleviate heat discomfort for State Councillor Aung San Suu Kyi and President Win Min, who are in prison. Another indicator that the military might be changing its mindset? For the first time in three years, the Myanmar army has finally given in and sent a lower-ranking official to attend ASEAN meetings where Army Chief Min Aung Hlaing and the junta-appointed foreign minister are banned. For the, outside, uh, interlo for the external interlocutors, that might be interpreted as uh, is the military somehow uh, signalling, is the State Administration Council somehow signalling, um, you know, they're ready to talk. Definitely this is actually the window of opportunity to be taken up, to be seized by the um, ASEAN. Uh, different ASEAN members look at the crisis differently. You know, those who engage more with the military, um, I don't think they will buy those ideas, you know, that this is actually the, the, the momentum to really push the back breakthrough. And while the five-point consensus is still the way forward, there are other resolution efforts being made. For instance, informal talks between Myanmar and its immediate neighbours, as well as bilateral discussions between ASEAN members and the military. I would uh, see a creativity or innovative uh, ways uh, being applied in the sense that um, it doesn't have to be separate. Actions taken, um, initiatives that are developed 
uh, can all be under the broad rubric of the five-point consensus as long as, I think, the ASEAN member states are really coordinating their, their different discrete actions together towards the same goal. And such actions, along with the Myanmarami's progress on the five-point consensus, will most likely be reviewed in July at the upcoming ASEAN Foreign Ministers' meeting in Laos. Leung Waikit, CNA.